tell us about how businesses can innovate in a very hyper-connected technical world. So if you think about what's going on in, in um, across industries, there are, there are sort of connectivity is a secular disruptive force. It's disrupting mm -hmm. every industry. Connectivity is in the net. What I mean by connectivity is the fact that consumers, customers, businesses um, are, are globally now connected to one grid. Um, networks are, are global now in their reach. So what that does, it allows some really interesting business models to be created. You know, it allows the creation of, you know, concepts like Uber or Airbnb mm -hmm. and, you know, so, so if you look at the, the taxi business is being disrupted, the hotel business is being disrupted, mm -hmm. the automotive business is being disruptive. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the education business is being disrupted, retail is being disrupted. So you pick any industry, the same forces of globalization and networking and technology are disrupting. Um, so hyperconnectivity leads to disruption of existing ways of doing business. The way that you can deal with this is, um, is you know, there are a number of strategies that I talk about, but the one, you know, one is to sort of uh, uh, disrupt yourself before you get disrupted, right? And then that is by actually creating experimental businesses or business models that are, you know, disruptive to your core business. Good example of that is what Netflix did. I mean, think about how they effectively killed their DVD rental business right. by going to streaming. And yeah. if you remember, their stock crashed and people were very critical. Yeah. But look where they are now. And because they saw it coming, they didn't, they, what they did to Blockbuster, mm. they did to themselves. Ah. But before it was too late. So that's one strategy. The other strategy is to actually acquire a disruptor. Uh, all mm. statements goes and buys insurance, ah. so so that they can learn and keep that business at arm's length and let it do the direct to customer model while they still pursue their uh, business. Another approach is to actually build some of those capabilities of the disruptors into your own business. For ex example, you know the cab companies are complaining about Uber. Well, why not learn from Uber and build your own app that allows you to find mm. where a ca taxi is and how long it's going to take to get there. So that's the idea, sort of, you know, learning from the disruptors and building some of those capabilities. Mm. Yeah.